Hello, hello. Today I'm playing the Vickers Mark 11. This is a 8.7 British light tank. The main thing it has going for it is its incredible speed. Unfortunately, it's also very fragile. Most of the armor is paper thin, and the driver can even be taken out by rifle caliber machine guns. So it's Sinai, I'm pushing between A and B. First, I'm trying to stop anyone crossing. Letting that temp through was really bad. I'm kind of forced to sit here and wait for him, because if I push any further, he could show up and shoot me in the back. I'm keeping an eye on the town with my drone. Obviously the Vickers dies very easily to planes. Rush helis are an issue too because you don't get a Pintle machine gun. So I'm continuing the same push with the ZA-35. If you can get a decent amount of kills for a spawn, these 35mm Gepard clone platforms are very useful for securing a nuke. Next up, Arctic Pier. Initially, I'm trying to pick off anyone capping A or crossing to B. Several arty strikes get called on my position, so I have to back off for a moment. My team got crushed seaside, and enemies are already pushing through there.
I'm very lucky to live there. If that ATGM hadn't hit my tire, I probably would have been overpressured. At this point, my team is mostly gone. I'm likely going to run out of tickets in a couple minutes, so I'm forced to full send it. I don't want to drive past this point because it's likely that someone coming out of either of the spawns would kill me. I can't see any more enemies on seaside, so I'm heading back to A. This is probably the luckiest game I'll ever have with this vehicle. I don't know how I didn't get overpressured there. up Finland. I'm doing a lower risk push that I like to use sometimes solo queue. It's less risky than rushing straight up the middle. You have to be careful of enemies that drive out to the edge of the map at E7. With the Vickers I can check if anyone is going there with my drone. It's an Amex 32. It's very scary to the Vickers because it has a 20mm auto cannon that can shred it. The Vickers doesn't use DM23. It's got a dart that's considerably lighter, and the spalling is noticeably worse. You have to be more careful with your shot placement. Having a drone is very useful for gauging when it's safe to cross this road. This is a great position. From here you've got a lot of potential angles uh, from which you can pick off the enemy team. You just need to pay attention to audio and your minimap and you should have lots of opportunities.
I fired too early there, and then I get greedy. I should have backed off immediately, instead of just hoping this big light wouldn't find me before I reloaded. Anyway, whenever I immobilize a light tank, I'll immediately drop artillery on it. There's a high chance that something with paper armor like a big light dies if it sits in minimum dispersion artillery. I think the Vickers Mark 11 is a pretty good light for 8.7. I prefer it over the Ruby Cap Mark 1 because the damage is a lot more consistent, 